Clint. I'm not really sure what to say. What happened to you now was a terrible tragedy. I can't say I know how you're feeling. He now his burial ended without incident. Lucas has been crying at her grave ever since. His poor little heart seems like it's about to break in two. If there's anything else I can do for you, just let me know anytime. <clears throat> Duster. Oh, he talked! And now that he's not the main character of the chapter anymore, he can talk. Thanks. I love how everyone can talk until they become the protagonist. Chapter 2 Thief Adventure. Yep, guess who we're playing as? Duster. I speak to you not as my son, but as my pupil. Listen. Also, I don't know if I said hello, everybody. It's several Four before for another episode of Mother 3. In the last episode, um, we confronted the Drago, which was turned into the Mecha Drago. Unfortunately, we did not find Klaus. And things ended on a tragedy. But today, we're listening. The time has come. No, this is not something we have been looking forward to. I had hoped the time wouldn't come, if at all possible. But you and I have been consciously preparing for this day. And the event it did come. So it appears you finally have a chance to try out what I've taught you. The enemy's form is still unknown, but now we must change the way we live. <clears throat> Are you prepared? Sure. Duster, I am now going to give you a mission. You will sneak into Osohe Castle. There you will find a certain important item and bring it back here. As for what this certain important item is, now, there's no need for me to tell you. If a thief can't determine the value of what he steals, he's a disgrace to the profession. Still, would you like to know a little about it? Yes. It's a very important looking item. It's like, all shiny, yeah. I will say no more than that. In the basement, you will find items I've prepared for you. The seven mystical thief tools. No. Wait, were there seven? Well, whatever. Take them with you. Seven tools of the bandit? This is Yu-Gi-Oh. They'll provide you they'll prove useful during your battles with the enemy. Thanks, Dad. Let's go check him out. So the last time we were here when Boney was trying to get us, we saw all these presents all over the place. Duster open the present. A hypno pendulum! The Hypno Pendulum can put enemies to sleep, and it's actually kind of nice, because uh, when they're asleep, you can hear their heartbeat, which is the, the battle rhythm. This is the Tickle Stick. The Tickle Stick lowers enemies' defense, which is fantastic. The Scary Mask lowers their attack. The Smoke Bomb. Smoke Bomb lowers their accuracy. And the Siren Beetle makes them turn around. Which means you don't have to get back attacks anymore. <laughs> you can just make them turn around in battle to get their back sprite. And this is a nap! <laughs> also, yes, you are correct. There are currently five, five things that we got in addition to our wall staples, which is number six. There are not seven thief tools, <laughs> there are six. Hidden inside the castle is a treasure with the power to change the fate of the world! Back when the king of Osohei still lived in the castle. Yes, I believe that's when it was. Anyway, back then I hid this treasure where no one would ever lay eyes upon it. I felt it was too much for even the king of Osohei to handle, 
Or so I recall, anyway. The as of yet unknown enemy may be trying to acquire it. Under normal circumstances, this would be a job that calls for me, but... Duster, I feel confident that I've hammered every technique I throw into you. So try to accomplish this mission yourself. Understand? When you go outside, check behind the house. I've hidden another mystical thief tool-like item there. Why did I hide them all separately like that? That's what I'd like to know. <laughs> I refill a box every once in a while when I feel so inclined, so always keep that in mind. We already knew about the box. Ha 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 ha. Wonder, I wonder who he thought was taking it, but yeah. I like Duster's run cycle because he's got that limp, but he still runs the same speed as everyone else. Because he's hardworking, you know? But uh, yeah, we get the Thunder Bomb there, and we can stock up on Thunder Bombs whenever we want. Um, let's check our inventory. Thankfully, the wall staples and everything else count as uh, key items, so they do not take up our regular inventory. Because if they did, that would be awful. Absolutely awful. But, uh, hey Mapson, you studying for a map? Let map on maps and maps be a map! If there's a place you gotta get, I can get you there, I bet I'm the map. Not even gonna bother asking what you're out doing this late at night, but you do you do know that also have castles draw bridges up, right? Means you can't get inside. There are rumors of an underground passage that leads into the castle. I bet Nippolite the gravekeeper knows something about that. You just want to say Nippolite, come on, be honest. Yeah, now we're it's back at nighttime. Got Duster's theme going here or something. Oh, can't bother people. <clears throat> I wonder if this is going on simultaneous with uh, a year old man with his son. I heard that wall climbing stuff he did in Sunshine Forest. I wonder if this is simultaneous to what Flint's doing or just at, right after. You know about Seven Mysteries of the Village? I think my fav favorite is Tesmilly Mystery number three. Tall Mr. Beanstalk of Crossroad. Yeah, that's actually the entire story. <laughs> okay, you, you talk about letter? I guess. Um... I know. Let's see if Flint is home, though. Oh, Duster. I tried, but I just can't get to sleep. Oh. Can I break into your house? Oh. Okay. I guess I can't break into houses tonight. That's too bad. Didn't mean to press R. I guess let's get out of the village then. Oh, potted me! I wasn't paying attention. I'm sorry, but we're in a terrible hurry, if you'll excuse us. Come now, little monkey, we should be off. I don't know who that monkey is, but I have a feeling I'm gonna dislike him. But yeah, weirdos, okay. Oh, it's, um, what's his face? But Butch, right. Duster! If you promise not to tell anyone, I'll let you in on a cool secret. Check out this bag. What do you think's inside? Money! There's money inside! Ever heard of money? What? You don't know what money is? Actually, I'm not really sure all that sure either. After all, we've never even had in Tesmilly before. But apparently, an era of money is about to start. Huh? What's an era of money? Huh? Oh, a traveler just gave it to me in exchange for some pigs. Yeah, he took a real liking to my pigs. Then he asked me in tears if I'd trade them for this. It did seem pretty strange to me at first, but I decided to trust the guy. He's definitely a friend worth having. I have a feeling that Butch is an idiot. Anyway, he gave it to me, which means it's mine, right? I don't want any ignorant people taking off with this, so I'm going to hide it in this well here. Dester, this secret's just between you and me. A 50,000 DP of money. But you put it back. Oh. It's 50,000 bucks. All right, then. 
That's not a good sound. Oh, no. Oh, what are they doing to the castle? Oh, boy. Let's get there before they do something to ruin everything. Oh god. Oh god. Is that Klaus? But we didn't bury him. Oh, Duster. I'm alive. Did the pig masks do this? That one looks like Hinawa, but it isn't. I die? <laughs> Didn't you die? He said quite racistly. More, more. I want to live more. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh my, is that you, Duster? My, how you've grown! Why, there's so much of you. I could eat you for three days and three nights that still have leftovers. <laughs> oh god. Anyway, we have to fight the zombie man and his cohorts. <coughs> uh, the zombie man has 95 health and the co the zombie lady has 87. So yeah, we don't have swing anymore. This is gonna be fun for this. Let's try... Smoke bombs only on one person. Let's try the hypno pendulum. Zombie Man fell asleep, and now you can hear this, which is the beat for fighting. Fighting attack, ow. Isn't that great? Doesn't that make life easier? It's too bad we didn't have him in the last chapter. We're just gonna keep him- yeah, there's four of them, remember. Although there was, there was only one Klaus thing and three Hinawa things, but whatever. Oh, he's awake. Good. Again, this is why, this is why the uh, the combo attacks are so important because you can kill them in one turn instead of two. There we go, beautiful. So that was scary. But we got 100 experience out of it. Uh, so zombies are gonna like appear around the graveyard now, but uh, they're not gonna ambush you like they did there. Hey, dude. Oh, you tell man what's his son, what's his name? You sure love to walk around. <laughs> At night you do. Uh, can you tell me how to get to the castle? Okay, I guess not. Yep, drawbridge is indeed up. It's a sketch of the area. <laughs> Great. That doesn't help me at all. Empty, empty, empty. Nowhere in particular you hear a voice. And that voice is mine! Watch where you're stepping, will ya? I'm like, standing right here. I'm an ant, don't you dare step on me. I've been watching you for a while now, but I just can't take it anymore. Fights are all about rhythm, you know, like boom, 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 and stuff. When you're in battle, there's a very specific rhythm that matches the enemy's beat. Pick up on that rhythm and victory will be yours. If you're really good, you can even pull off 16 hit combos. I did that a couple episodes ago, I'm still proud. I hereby name these sound battles. Thank you very much. 
Ah, uh, ant. Oh, good. Dompe's going back to his house. Oh, God. Oh, God. There's zombie everything now. Where do you go? Sure, let's save our game. So he's just, yeah, down there now. Okay, cool. One second. Please be careful. I will give my regards to the next frog we meet. What do we got here? Beef jerky time. Peculiar cheese. And yeah, there's a tunnel back here. Oh god, uh, right, there are enemies. There are weird enemies in here. Uh, so first we got the detached leech, which has 61 health and drops mushrooms. Luckily, it only has 61 health. Uh, the enemies outside that we skipped were the zombie dog, which has 115 health, and the mobile grave, which has 158. The problem with the mobile grave, I think, is that it can fall on you? Maybe? I don't know. It does a lot of damage, though, and I'm just trying to avoid them right now, because they're really tough, and we're going to run into them later anyway. But anyway, HP 7, Offense 2, Defense 2, IQ 1, Speed 2, and he left, indeed, an edible mushroom. There's one other enemy down here. Yeah, this guy right here. <clears throat> The Spineless Lobster. The Spineless Lobster has 80 health. Um, it's really easy to get a back attack on him because he runs away. But after he runs away for a little bit, uh, he then charges at you. And he also uses Offense Up Alpha as his first move. So it just gives you an opportunity to attack him. Or put him to sleep. Again, uh, the Tickle Stick is nice because it will turn them around. And that's going to be their move, like turning back will be their their move, um, but the Hypno Pendulum will also just be nice. Running Bomb is just good because it's good. Let's try the Hypno Pendulum. So it's just good to use this on enemies even if you can kill them easily if you're unfamiliar with the song. Also, attacking them doesn't wake them up, which is nice. But yeah, it's just really good practice at this point in the game, and you should probably take time with Duster to, you know, get up on that practice. I think I said before he spends the first turn using Offense Up Alpha. He does not do that. He just sometimes does that. Um, but uh, he also just has a lot of defense, so the Tickle Stick might be a good idea to use against him too. These enemies are essentially here just to teach you about, you know, using the weapons properly. Anyway, uh, this treasure chest has nut bread. We just can't escape from the nut bread, can we? Uh, but now we're inside the uh, the walls of the castle. Oh, it's old man Weston, what's his name? You made it through the underground passage without being done in by all them monsters? That's really something. One side of the castle, do you? Afraid that's not gonna happen. Gate's locked and <sighs> won't budge at all. All the way inside is to climb the walls. Luckily, we can do that. So is he just tending the fields here? I guess so. Spare advice, so let me discuss some of the main tricks to fighting. How you and your enemy come into contact can give you the advantage or disadvantage. We know about this. Yeah, back attacks and frontal attacks and all around attacks and all out attacks and overdrives. And... But po potato toe. That's, I guess, what he's planting here. Potato toes. My humble little steak patch. I didn't know you grew those in the ground. Is this like one of those, like, uh, impossible burger things? But yeah, there's nothing we can do here, unfortunately. Seems to be locked from the inside. If only there was a way. The wall doesn't seem scalable. Oh. But wait, what's this? The wall seems scalable. Heck yeah. <clears throat> I love his animation for that so much. Okay, uh, what is this? Some sort of waste product. 
Oh, is that what they were dropping? They were just... Those ships are just pooping out on the castle? Yuck. Great. Wonderful. Andy, 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 Andy. Watch where you're stepping, will ya? I'm standing right here, you know. I'm an ant. Don't step on me. It looks like you still haven't gotten that. Yes, I have. You gotta learn the enemy's beat. You didn't know you can hear the enemy's heartbeat by putting it to sleep? Let me hear your heart beat fast. I want it to last. I need you by my side. You can still fight just fine with that. Yeah, okay. Thank you very much. Oh god, it's a haunted mansion. I'm not a ghost frog. Shall I save your game? Sure. Let me hear your heart beat fast. I want it to last. I need you by my side. You get an odd feeling that the woman in the painting is staring at you. Yeah, you can run into this and just crashes through the floor because I'm a bad person. Heavy metal. <laughs> Cute. Um, now, I think that is going to do it for this episode, though. In the next episode, we are going to explore Osohe Castle. So thank you all very much for watching. This has been several Civil 4. Oh god. Well, I guess we're doing one more enemy. The stinky ghost. The stinky ghost has 125 health. Um, now let's see. I think we can use the wall staples on him. Yeah, it'll paralyze him for a little bit. I don't know how we can pin down a ghost, but whatever. Coughed up a terrible odor. Oh good, I think that can make you nauseous or something. Which is not good. Uh, but anyway, yeah, we got 35 experience out of that, and we're level 11! HP 7, offense 1. That's it. Great. And we get... Rotten Milk. Have a rotten milk. It's actually important. Don't throw that out right away. But anyway, thank you very much for watching. This has been Sephiroth 4, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye, everybody. Bye-bye.